In the past 13 days, this kid's educational learning channel has earned anywhere from $800 to $14,000 by sharing faceless animated videos about different topics. For example, this video about naming foods has over 44 million views. And the best part is, creating this type of channel might be actually easier than you think. That's why in this video, I will show you how you can easily create animated videos using this easy method. And the good thing is, this can be used for any single niche. So the first thing you need to do is to get your video ideas. You can go about doing this in two different ways. So the first way would be to simply come up with the ideas yourself, which can take a little time, but go ahead and do that if you have the creative mind. But if not, don't worry because the second way we can go about getting video ideas is by using ChatGPT to assist us. Now once on ChatGPT, what you want to do is to give it this prompt. But first, here are different video ideas you can create. But for this video, I will create videos about foods. So you can see the prompt right here which is, can you give me a list of 50 different foods? And I will go ahead and hit enter. You can see that it has given me a list of 50 different foods. Now, the next step is to generate script for each of these different fruits. So, I will go ahead and give it this prompt. Create short video scripts featuring different fruits. In each script, the fruit will introduce itself to the kids and spell its name aloud, helping them learn to spell the word. And I will hit enter. You can see it has generated the script for the first five fruits. Now, you can go ahead and generate script for all the different fruits that are here. ChatGPT has given me a fantastic script I can use for my video. So you can choose to use the script as it is, create your own or edit the script for that to suit your needs. Once you have your script ready, it's time to move on to the next step. Now the next thing you have to do is to create characters for your animation. And to do this, we are going to be using this incredibly powerful tool called Canva. You will find the link for Canva in the description below. Now once you are on Canva, what you want to do is to go to the search bar and then simply type in YouTube video and hit enter. And once you have done that, what you need to do next is to click this one right here which says create a blank YouTube video. And now it's going to simply take you to this page where we can start creating the characters. And I so much love this part because it's super easy and fun to create. Now it's time to be really creative. Remember our video is about fruits. I have five fruits, apple, banana, orange, strawberry and grape. So the next thing I have to do is to get these fruits. I will start with the first three. Now to do this. Let's head to the element section. Once there, I can search for the specific fruits I need. For example, to find an apple, I will simply type apple in the search bar and hit enter and then click on graphics. Then you could simply scroll through all these different options and select whichever apple you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one right here. So my other elements were banana and orange. So I'll go ahead and do the exact same process to get all my characters. As you can see right here, I have all my three characters. That's awesome. But this is not very engaging. It simply shows three fruits without any personality. Let's transform them into interesting characters to make them more engaging. So in order to do this, we need to give them some body parts. Let's come over to element once again. On the search bar, we're going to search for cartoon feet. Now click on graphics. Now you can see there are different cartoon feet that are available right here. So simply go ahead and choose the one you like. Now I'll simply click on this and then I'll bring it over here. Simply adjust it to fit in your character. I'll position it like this. But then, as you can see, the fit is right in the front. We need to send it backwards. So how are we going to do that? I'm simply going to select the fit and then you're going to come over here where it says position. Then you just click on backward and it will send it backward. Now the next thing we are going to do is this. We are going to add arms to it. So to do that, we are going to see, come over to elements, then we are going to search for cartoon arm and hit enter. Then we we'll see select graphics. Now you can see there are different arms available right here. So just simply scroll down and select the one you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. So I'll bring it over here, I'll adjust it to fit in. I need to send it backward again. But before then, what we need to do is that we are going to duplicate this arm. So to do that, you're going to just click on this duplicate button right here and duplicate the arm. We're going to bring it over here. But you can see there's a little problem right here. It's facing the same direction. So to correct it, you're just simply going to click on this flip here. 
and click on flip horizontal and then it will change it to the correct direction so i'm going to bring it over here too now you can see that the arms are still at the front so what we're going to do is this we need to send it backward and we're still going to follow the exact same process we we'll click on the arm and then we'll click on position then click on backward to send it backward we we'll still do the same thing for this one we we'll send it backward now you can see that it's really coming together like it's becoming alive so we're going to do the next step which is to add face to it so i'm still going to come over here and then we're going to search for cartoon faces so you are still going to select graphics and then you make sure you just scroll down and select any one you prefer so right now i'm going to click over here to select this one and then i'll bring it over here so you need to adjust it to fit in and there we have it guys doesn't it look so gorgeous i think it looks so cute now you can see it's very easy to create your character one more thing there is one last thing you need to do to him to complete your character now you can see that the legs are facing opposite direction what you want to do is to make them to face the same direction because this will be very helpful when you are going to animate it just believe me on this so to do this what we are going to do is this we are going to get it to be one leg and to do this we are going to click on this place right here where it says crop and then we are going to crop out one leg and click done what you are going to do next is to duplicate it so i'm just going to click over here to duplicate it and then i'll bring it over here now what i will do next is to simply rotate it a little bit and then i will still send it backward the way we have done it before so i'm just going to click over here position and then i'll click on backwards so you can see this is so adorable now we're going to do the same for the remaining fruits but then i would like to change this banana to another fruit that have a different color just to increase the contrast of this video now in order to do that i'm going to come over to elements and then in the search bar i'll type pear and hit enter still select graphics and then i'm going to select any pair of my choice now i think i like this one so i'm going to select this one so i'll increase the size now we still have to do the same for all these different fruits here you don't have to start all over again and start adding all these elements one by one you can simply follow the easier route which is just to duplicate it and then paste it in all these different fruits and to do that we are simply going to select the whole of the apple and then we are going to duplicate it and then drag and bring it over here then what we are going to do next is this we are simply going to go ahead and delete the apple and you can see that we are almost ready right easy peasy so what we're going to do next is this we're still going to send them backward same way we did previously just hold your shift key to select all of them then we're simply going to go over to position then click on backward you can see that we've sent all of them backward i think it's pretty awesome so we're still going to do the same for the orange so we're going to select it so this is it guys now what we want to do next is to adjust the size of the character so it's not too big and then not too small so i'm just going to select all of them and then i'm going to adjust it a little bit now you can see i have all of my three characters so we are simply going to change the colors just select it and then change this color to red and then we're going to change this one to green and then we'll change this color to orange So once you have all of your characters done, the next thing you want to do is to download it. And to do that, you're going to come over here at the top right, where it says share. So you're going to click on share, then click on download. Now, you don't want to download this as an mp4 yet. What you're going to do is this, you're going to click on this drop down arrow. And then you're going to click on png, then hit download. Okay, so it's time to move on to the next step. Now, the next thing you need to do is to animate them. Because you know you're going to bring these characters to life. But don't worry, the method I'm going to show you requires no skill at all. And you can literally do this by just a few clicks of a button. So in order to animate them and bring them to life, we are going to be using this powerful tool called Animated Drawings. I will leave the link in the description below. Now once you are on Animated Drawing, it's going to take you to this page. Just simply click on Get Started and it will bring you to this page. Now we are going to click on this button right here where it says Upload Photo. And upload that png we downloaded from canva now we've uploaded the photo of the characters we downloaded from canva from here you want to click next and then it's going to take you to this page so you need to adjust this line to select only one character so we are going to select our character which is apple and then hit next and once you have done this it's going to take you to this page where our character is now outlined so make sure that your character is well outlined 
You can see the guideline they have given to you. If the body parts of your character are not highlighted, just use the pen and eraser to fix it. So you can just simply click on this and then you now use your pen icon to draw it. And if you want to erase something, just simply select the eraser button and then you just erase a part that you don't like. But since everything is in order, I'm not going to do any of that. And once everything is highlighted perfectly, what you want to do is to click on next. Now it will bring you to this page where you can adjust the joints by dragging the point. Most of the time it gets it perfectly well but if it's a little bit off, just click on the circle right here and you can see where it says left eye. You can just bring your cursor and drag it a little bit to fit in the left eye. And you can see right here, right eye, just bring it and drag it to fit in the right eye. And once you've adjusted everything properly to fit into the right position, now the next step is where the magic happens. So all you need to do is to click on next. Now look at this, our animation is done. Look at him just running across the screen. And one fantastic thing about this tool is that we just need to do this animation once to generate him. Then on this side where it says add animation, you can simply add different animations right here. You can see there are over 30 different animations you can have this app to do. And you can filter it by dance, funny, jumping, walking. Now if you click on the second one, you can see that it's a different kind of animation. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to select about three different animations, but I'm going to start with this one because I really love how this one is looking. And look at his legs. You can see they are facing the same direction. And that was why I told you to make sure that the legs are faced in the same direction when we are creating it. Because if the legs were facing the opposite direction, he'll be walking with his legs open. So to download it, just simply click on this icon right here to expand it. And then you're going to click on these three dots right here and click on download to download it. So you can go back and look at your script to find out different movements you need your character to do. Find it and then download it. So let's go back to our script. So you can see right here, hi kids. So you can go ahead and choose a different animation and then go ahead and still download it. Now do the same for all your different characters and download them. Now once you are done, it's time to move on to the next step. The next step will be getting the voiceover for your video. In order to generate the voiceover, we are going to be using 11 Labs. You can find the link in the description below. Once on 11 Labs, you want to make sure you select text to speech. The first thing you need to do is to select the voice you want. And to do that, you are going to simply click on this drop down arrow right here. And then you are going to scroll down and select whichever voice you want. For me, I'm going to select Gigi because I really like the way it sounds. Remember, you can adjust the voice setting. You only do that if you like, but it's not necessary. So now what we need to do next is to copy our script. So I'll come over to ChatGPT and then I'm going to copy this script right here. And come back over to 11 Labs and then paste it here where it says text. Now, once you've imported your script, you want to go ahead and edit it with the correct punctuation so that your character will say it the way you want it to say it. Now, once you have done that, all you need to do is to scroll down and then click on generate. Hi kids, I'm an apple and I'm here. As you can see, it is done. Once you have done that, all you need to do is to download your audio. To do that, simply come over to this download button right here and then click on it to download your audio. So now you will go ahead and do the same thing for your entire script. And if you have different characters or if you want to use different voices, then for each new part of your script, you can simply change the voice and then generate it. Now, once you've downloaded all your voices, congratulations because now there's only one step remaining. Now, to do the final step, all you need to do is to come back over to Canva in the same section where you generated the characters. Because what you're going to do right now is to put everything together to generate your amazing video animation. So, the first thing you need to do is to click on Uploads and upload all the files you just downloaded into Canva. So, you will do that for both the animations and the voiceovers. Click on this plus button right here where it says add page so you can have the blank page where you can start working on. Now what you need to do next is that you're going to add a background and in order to do that you're going to come over right here where it says elements. You're going to type in the type of background you want. So in my case I'm going to type in cartoon background and hit enter. Then I'm going to click on graphics. Now you can see there are different backgrounds available right here. Just scroll down and choose the one you like. Then I'm just going to simply drag it and then adjust it to fit the screen. Now you've added your background. You can even adjust it further to make it more eye-catching. And to do that, you're going to come over here where it says edit photo and click on it. Then you're going to select adjust. Just go ahead and adjust the settings right here until you get what you like. Now you have the background. You can now start generating the scene. 
And to do that, you are going to add your character. So we are going to start with the first character. So you are just going to come over to uploads and then to videos. So we are going to select the character you want to add. Now we are going to adjust it to what you actually want. When you look at it, you can see that it has a white background and we wouldn't want to do our video having this white background on it. So what you're going to do is this, you're going to come over here to edit video. Then you're going to click on background remover to remove the white background. You can see that Canva have automatically removed the background for us. So you can just adjust it to the sizing you actually want. So now this is what we are working with. So what you need to do then is this, you're going to look at your script and then figure out what your character is saying. Then adjust your video accordingly. So we're going to come over here to text. I'm going to click on heading. Then we're going to bring it right here. Then copy a section of our script. Delete this and paste it here. Now we are going to adjust the size to whatever you want. And then go ahead and even change the font type. And boom, this is what you're working with so far. So the next thing you're going to do is to add the audio that your character is saying. So to do that, you're going to come over to uploads. And then we're going to click on audio. Make sure you position your playhead where you want to drop it. Now I'm simply going to draw and drop it right here where it says drop music so from here what you want to do is to look at your script and then figure out what your character is saying what they are doing and then you want to crop and adjust your animation accordingly to fit into that now once you have added your audio you want to listen to read and see where the audio for that particular scene stops so in my case it ends around this place so once you get to that point all you need to do is to split it so to do that you're just going to right click and then you're going to see this place split audio and then click on it you're also going to split the page just click on split page to split it now once you have done this the first scene is ready so now we're going to move on to the next scene i'm going to repeat the same process but this time around you're going to listen to the audio to find out what your character is saying then you're going to change the text and also the character movement accordingly so what we're going to do next is this we're going to come over here to our script and then we're going to copy the next text now we'll come back to canva and then we're going to paste our next text so i'm going to adjust the text and then you can even decide to change the font color just depending on what you want i'm going to leave it this way i want to use a different movement so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to come over back to uploads and then go over to videos i'm going to select a different movement so i'm going to select this one now you're just going to follow the same process we used in the previous one i'm going to simply come over to edit video and then we are still going to remove the background of the video now you can go ahead and repeat the exact same step for all the different scenes that you have and once you've done that it's good for you to make it to be very much interesting by adding transitions so if you just place your cursor right here you're going to see the option to add your transition which you can just select here and then you can see there are different cool transitions that are available right here just select any one you like and then once you are done that you also have to add your sound effects you know add your background music just to make it to be very interesting and to add your background music just come over to a website called pizzabay.com and then make sure that you select music section you can see that there are different music that are available right here just search for background music and you can see there are different music that are available right here copyright free music that are available right here which you can just download just go through all of them and then select any one you like then simply download it simply add the audio to your video just be as creative as possible just to make your video visually appealing and once you are done with creating your videos all you need to do is to click on share and then you're going to click on download then make sure you leave it as mp4 then hit download to download your video then you can go ahead and publish it on your youtube channel and that is it guys if you love similar content like this then click here to watch my other videos if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this and if you have any further questions be sure to drop it in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video